if I thought the Army was anything or base train was gonna be anything like reception, I'm not gonna lie. When they gave you that MC period to say, hey, did the crew to tell you to um make you say anything that you want to say, I would have pleaded crazy. Let me get y'all squared away. I'm gonna tell y'all about reception, my experience, some tips and tricks, so y'all can get up out of there as fast as possible. And not to mention on top of that, y'all can go to base training, y'all can graduate, and y'all can go to big army, enjoy your life. So stay tuned for more. So I'm gonna get the rundown real quick. So reception, first thing first, you gotta get there. So, you know, recruiter, if you're flying, recruiter get you right there, drop you at the airport, give you a little voucher, give you paperwork. Bam, flight was cool, no issues on my end. You get there, it's gonna be a bunch of people at the, um, at like a little point where you see everybody, you can mingle with them, don't really matter. Drill started to come in there, you know, on the little rah-rah, you know, trying to be a little savage intimidation, you know, trying to own, command the room. I mean, you're going to be scared at first. You're not going to know what to expect. You know, it's the, the fear of unknown. So they're going to do the extra stuff. Like they had us file in two different little lines, you know, six feet apart. They had little, like little, little, um, some little tiles or something. You had to be like every other tile. There's being a whole bunch of extra stuff. So, and then we just sat there and waited. The game is, the whole thing with this video is going to be hurry up and wait. Trust me. Like, it's really a thing. Like, you're going to hurry up and wait. And also, I ain't, I didn't get there till like, 9-something. So, anybody that got, like, evening flights or later flights, I'm trying to tell y'all, make sure y'all get a lot of sleep. When I mean a lot of sleep, I mean you need to be sleeping before you get on the plane, while you're on the plane, when you get off the plane. When you're awake, you got to be sleeping. Trust me, get all the rest you need because when you get to recession, you're not going to get no rest. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to be up. For, uh, you and me up for like two days straight and not even exactly maybe even three not gonna lie to you we park sit there for a little minute drills hard to open the door they'll tell you get out you sit on this little little, little dots or whatever and then this kind of get accountability all that good stuff and then we file in there how the drill are gonna operate man it'd it be kind of annoying a little bit because they be overly sarcastic or they be trying to like be like they trying to abuse their power like and also depending on how you kind of move in your aura like you know drill sergeants can kind of feel that okay you kind of scary so they might press you on knowledge so i would say like before y'all get there learn learn like the soldier's creed learn the army song learn the ranks know how to address uh enlisted like drill sergeants don't say like sir and all that cliche stuff they gonna be on you. So after we do that, you know, they'll go to different little rooms, you know, they do a little shakedown, stuff like that. Don't be having nothing crazy with you. Don't be having your girlfriend pitch on there. Like, no funny, like, do not, do not pack a lot. Like, do not pack a lot. I'm telling you this because like, once you get your gear, you gonna get two big duffel bags of stuff, like green big bags, they gonna be heavy. And I would say anything, packing list. Just bring hygiene products and like shower shoes. Everything else, when you get the basic training, you can just mail everything that you need when you get there. Trust me, like, you don't need to pack all stuff. If you get a book bag, make sure the book bag all black or tan. So you can carry it once you get your your, your green bag. Trust me, like, I ain't bring, I ain't have a, um, a all black, all tan book bag. So I had to carry it on hand with the with the, um, with the the bag. That, that, it was hard. And then here's where it gets a little, a little crazy because, like, you, you it's like if y'all ever been to Vegas and been to casinos, you can't see what time it is. You don't know what time it is or not. So you thinking, like, it's, you only in there for, like, an hour or something like that that nah you gonna be in that thing for about like three four hours like it, it's not gonna seem long but you're gonna be in there long so remember i got off the flight like nine something right i finally get a chance to look at my watch we had i took my watch up bruh it's 245 before i put my it's this room was super mad cold it was dirty and guess what formation was it was 315 so we only had like 10 minutes to change and go back downstairs for formation. Like, not even like 30 minutes. You, you're not getting no rest. Trust me, you're not getting no rest. Go down to formation. I was like, set, well, I forgot what, whatever I was. I was 7'4", 74, 74, or something like that. This is my first time eating MRE. Eat MRE. I, I think it was a veggie crumble or something nasty. It was something nasty. It was nothing, not, it was nasty. Stomach start churning, like, damn near instantly. Stomach churning. Arr! You thought like the lawnmower ain't, ain't turned on. Like it was like one of those. Arr, arr. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a bad day. I only ate a little bit of it. Soon we finish eating. We go to the little, um, we end up going to like the little assembly. Walk in there, it's dirty in there. Like it's nasty, bro. It's nasty, bro. Everything, the whole thing nasty. Everything need to be sent to I'm like, damn, military ain't got no money. Like why we got no janitors? Who cleaning? Who, the, who what the janitors that do? What's the MS with janitor? Like everything was dirty. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, it was nasty. It was disgusting, bro. It was disgusting. 
So I go in there, stomach churning. Ugh, I'm like, hell no, I gotta go to the bathroom. Bathroom this this hideous, bro. Like I couldn't go none of the stalls. But it was one I found that it was actually somewhat decent. I air squatted. So I'm looking around for toilet paper. I ain't even see none. Hold on, I'm like, bro, what we doing here? I had grabbed the little newspaper articles. I use that for toilet paper. I had to use all of it. After that, we end up leaving. We end up um doing some more paperwork processing. The issue I had for me, and this is advice for y'all, like before I, I had went to financial aid. I'm trying to tell y'all, biggest thing with financial aid, make sure, like, before y'all leave, y'all, like, the house, make sure, make sure that all your paperwork is squared away. Like, I'm talking about, like, your BAH, your addresses, make sure everything is good because once you get there and everything jacked up, it's going to be so inconvenient to get everything fixed up. It's going to take forever. I'm still having issues to this day about my paperwork. Not even going to lie to you about BAH and all that stuff. So make sure everything's squared away. Make sure you got your wife. If you're doing like your wife or something like that, on her, if she ain't like, y'all ain't living together, make sure y'all got the documentation, marriage certificate, lease, all that stuff. Make sure you got the landlord signature. Make sure you got all, I'm talking about make sure you got everything with you. Like, so they would give me a whole bunch of grab. I had to go get my phone out of the, out of the um, holding, tell them to email me a lease, then have them print it out, and then had to process my stuff. That took forever to do. And the point that I actually missed my um my gear pull, pulling my gear, so I didn't even have my gear, so I'm almost almost didn't even get out of um at a reception on time. Like I was very fortunate to even get myself squared away. Like uh, have my it would have started me all over everything. After that, we end up going not even going back to the room, doing more processing. Like then we go eat. Food was not that bad though. Food was I. Right. So you get to meet people and something like that. I would say also just have good shared experiences, like meet meet no more people when you get there. Not, but not everybody that you're gonna be cool with, you're gonna see. They might be in different companies, stuff like that. So I tell you another thing about reception. This can be good or bad. You get to meet a variety of people, but you get to meet a variety of people. So like you might get some people that are like on some drill private time, meaning that they want to kind of run the show but they really don't have no authority so they're going to be trying to be suck up they're going to try to tell you what to do tell you how to move and everything if you want to get into trouble there's going to be people for that if you want to stay on the right lane it's going to be people for that too so you're going to get whatever you're looking for you're going to get it out you're going to get it there if you just you can find anybody that you're looking for also too i know a lot of y'all might be used to getting like people being in your face talking to you crazy I would say this: this don't react, react. This be this be cool on it. Like I, I know I wasn't used to. I had to get reused to people kind of yelling at me, but don't react. Don't make it a big deal. Just kind of just say yes, Joe Sergeant, and keep it moving because reception is like the one at the time they try to weed out the weak. So they gonna try to find a way to make you a hold over, a hold under, or just get you up out of there. You go, oh yeah, cool man. They can get me up out of there. They can't talk me how we want to go. It's not that easy. They, by the time you process out of the army from reception, you're probably you're pretty much gonna be done with basic training. That's how long it's probably gonna take you to get that get that process out. So you don't wanna. It's not even worth the hassle. Just kind of just take take it in the chin. Yes, drill sergeant, keep it moving so you can get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So stay cool with that too. I would say make sure as well too. Like make sure y'all get some good shoes. Um, it's packed with y'all as well too. So like even though like. Depending on what company you in, you might get like some people, they probably won't care. Just get out your personal bag and then like you can just put them on. Some might acquire a profile. Just get in, get out, and then you be squared away. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the like, subscribe button, and I'm out. Gone.